All right, hello folks. Welcome to tonight's matchup. McNeil Mavericks out here at Stony Point High School getting ready to take on the Stony Point Tigers. Game one of this two-game series this week. Last three games of the season starting tonight. This is the uh, first time in two years, actually, that the Mavericks have played over here at Stony Point. Uh, last year, I think due to some sort of irrigation system issue, uh, Mavs hosted Stony Point for a doubleheader at McNeil Field and didn't come over to play at Stony Point. And the year before, of course, was uh, was COVID year where all the games were canceled. So this is the first time over here in a couple of years. Bit of an odd spring night. It's uh, very, very overcast and cloudy. Gray skies everywhere. Lights already on. There's a light rain and mist blowing in. Um, so could be an interesting night with weather factors here not anticipated to have any kind of major rain out or anything like that just kind of an uncomfortable mist flying in your eyes <laughs> for probably most of the course of this game so getting ready to start off here Jack Owens will lead it off for the Mavericks and he will face the starting pitcher for Stony Point number 14 Joaquin Olvera First pitch coming up to Goins. Goes out and grabs it. Line drive and a sail to center field. That's going to get down for a leadoff base hit. That a kid, Jack Goins. Good evening, Jason. Good Glad evening. To Glad to be alongside with you. Indeed, on this glorious, drizzly, yeah, so soupy night. Say, uh, with you, <laughs> glorious. Did you say soupy? Soupy. Perfect. Perfect descriptive word there. So Goins gets things going here for the Mavs at the top of the first. That brings up Ryan Voss. Woo! It's a line drive right up the middle on the first pitch he sees and into center field for another base hit. So back-to-back -back singles on two pitches. And Mavs have runners on first and second here. Nobody out. And number three hitter Chris Windesman comes up to the plate. Stony Point on the season, four and seven in district overall, or four and seven in district, and uh, nine and ten overall. Can't beat that. Two pitches uh, to two Maverick batters and two base hits. Two line drive hits. Here we go. Chris Windsman up. And Windsman lays off the first pitch there, which was a breaking ball in there for called strike. Next pitch on the curveball, just a little slow chopper to pitcher. I'm going to throw it a second, get the force out at second. Winnesman will be in safely at first, and Goins moves to third on the fielder's choice. Stepping up number 24, Jackson Collins. So runs on first and third now, one out, brings up number four hitter Jackson Collins. What we got? Tiger Field here, 320 in the corners, 360 to, uh, actually it looks like 360 to right center, 400 in center, and then 380 out in left center. And Collins looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike. Is that also in right center field, is that a 380 as well? I think there's a break there and it's a six. Yeah, it's 360, yeah, right center. Yeah, but left center is 380. A little deeper out there for yep. left center, yep. We've got the, it's an all natural field with the exception of a turf mound and a turf batter's area. And Colin swings the next pitch and fouls it high out of play. Not a whole lot of wind here tonight. American flag out in center field, pretty much just barely kicking around. Yeah, maybe just you know five miles an hour, if that, blowing in. Light mist. Comes the 0-2 pitch to Collins. Bring the ball in the dirt, gets away from the catcher. Catcher can't find it, so that's going to allow Goins to score easily, and Windesman advances to second. 
And the Mavs have one run across here in the top of the first. Another one of those balls that just got away from the catcher. Catcher was believed it to be right around his general area there, but actually kicked away and over towards the net. And, uh, just couldn't get it. So runner on second now. 0-2 pitch swung on. Another foul ball out of play. Well, the pitch to Collins, breaking ball bounces, and they're kept in front this time, though, by the catcher. It looks like we actually had a 1-2 count there, not an 0-2 count. So now the count is, with that last pitch, is two balls, two strikes to Collins. And Windsman, the runner on second. 2-2 two -two pitch. Fastball swung on, popped up. Kind of right, right field side going into foul territory towards the Mavs dugout, and he makes the grab in foul territory for the second out of the inning. Wind was trying to push that but ball completely out of play, but yep. it, it held up just enough. Ball held up just enough for the second out. But Mavs come out swinging. I like this intensity. So with two outs, that'll bring up the starting catcher tonight, Garrett Banks. And Banks looks at a first pitch fastball, misses a little high, ball one. Next pitch, breaking ball. Good try by the catcher to frame it in there, but misses a little low and outside. 2-0 count. Sorry for the less than optimal uh, camera view here tonight, folks. The uh, setup here at Stony Point does not allow for seating right below the press box, right behind home plate where we normally are able to sit. So uh, we're over here in the side and just trying to do what we can with the camera angle. So this is as good as it gets. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. We're working with what we've got. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> hey, at least we got something. Right? That's right. Something's better than nothing. We got video, we got audio. Let's try to get as little of the pole as we can here. As Banks looks at a 3 0 strike. <laughs> 3 1 pitch. Thought it was ball four. Outside, Umpire said, but said yeah, strike. Yeah. Umpire said, not so fast. Come on back. Full count. Full count, two down. Next pitch swung on, popped in the air, shallow center field. Center fielder coming in. Actually, right, field. right fielder coming yeah. all the way in. And he makes the grab just behind the infield for the third out of the inning. Hey, we got one. So Mavs put up one run and a couple of hits, able to bring one run around. We head to the bottom of the first. Mavs up by a score of 1-0. We'll be right back.
All right. Getting ready here for starting point for his bats. Starting defense for the Mavericks. Jackson Collins at first. Jack Goins at second. Ryan Vosick at short. Joseph Sandusky at third. Ramsey Simpson out left field. Chris Windesman in center. James Morio out in right field. Starting catcher, the senior Garrett Banks. And the starting pitcher tonight, left-handed junior Brandon Morio. And he will face the leadoff hitter, second baseman, number 16, Hall. And first pitch somehow misses. Looked pretty good from here. Ball one. Looked, looked really good from here, but okay. Next pitch looked like the same spot. Gets the strike call this time. Next pitch. Different pitch type, but must look like it was pretty close to the same spot. Misses a little bit outside, I guess. 2-1 the count. Next pitch swung on ground ball up the middle, and it's going to get past the second baseman Goins into center field for a base hit. That brings up number 11, Missy's son, Alex Landaverde. So leadoff single for Hall. That brings up number two hitter shortstop, Alex Landaverde. So leadoff base hits on both sides to start the game. Next pitch swung on, lined into left field. That's going to get in there for a single. Stepping up to the plate, it's Jessica's uh, number 23, Isaiah Garcia. So much like the Mavericks, the Stony Point Tigers put runners on first and second here with back-to-back -back singles to lead off their inning. And that brings up the number three hitter, center fielder Garcia. Well said. I was. Uh, that's why I was nodding. <laughs> I was like, "This looks identical to the top of the first. Here we are, Stony Point. And first pitch to Garcia, breaking ball in there for a yeah, call strike. Stony Point. Stony Point with uh, both their batters on with singles. Pitch lays off of it, tries to check the swing. Umpire says he did not go around. One ball, one strike to Garcia. Squares around the run, pulls back, pitches a little bit high and inside. Great velo on that here, popping the mitt. <clears throat> Next nice pitch fastball misses a little low. It's be three balls, one strike. There it is. Right, next pitch is in there for called strike two. Full count now. Whereas on first and second, nobody out. Three two pitch. It's like it hits him on the inside of the elbow. Stepping up to the plate, it's number fifteen, Ivan's son, Cedric Orozco. So the hit by pitch will load the bases. Nobody out here brings up first baseman Orozco. And one of the greatest walk up songs in the district. Right here. <laughs> that is a good one. If I may say so myself. Alright. So, well, we've got a mound visit here visit. from mm -hmm. Coach Aguirre for the Mavericks. Talking strategy about what they want to do here with bases loaded. Will all the infielders be on the grass? Nope. I didn't think so. Way too early for that anyway, right? Nobody out. Well, so you got your, in theory, your cleanup hitter, your, one of your best hitters yeah. on the team up. But yeah. And he swings to the first pitch, fouls it out of play. That's 
think it possibly corners in. Middle infielders double play depth. Next pitch breaking ball swung on and fouled. Grounded over by the uh, Stony Point dugout. So Morio working ahead here. 0-2 count on the cleanup hitter, Orozco. Hey, there we go. We got two quick strikes. Come and get them. Right here. 0-2 pitch. Swung on a miss. Strike three. For the first out. Big strike out there with bases loaded. Nobody out. Want the cleanup hitter. Huge strikeout. Three straight pitches. That up First out of the inning brings up son, the catcher Ramudio. Ramudio. First pitch swung out of miss, strike one. Pitch fastball misses a little bit low. Next pitch swung on, just caught a piece of it, fouled it back to the screen. It'll be a 1 2 count. One two pitch. Yes. Breaking ball in there. Caught him cooking. Strike three. So after loading the bases, the next two hitters will strike out. And we have two outs now. Number six hitter Austin Mutcher comes to the plate. Way to change up the cadence there. Throw that breaking ball for the third strike, for the second strike out of the inning. That first pitch to Musher. Musher fastball misses a little high and out. Ball one. Next one. Another good fastball. Misses a little low this time though. Ball two. He's rearing back and throwing like even harder. Seems like over, over these last couple batters. That fastball is really popular. Next pitch swung on, line into center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. One run is going to score easily from third. Runner comes around from second as well. Scores, throw to third is not going to be in time. So Mutcher with a two RBI single, and he advances to third or to second Stepping on the throw. Number 27, Angela's son, J.R. Nutt. And that puts Stony Point up by a score of 2-1 to one here in the bottom of the first. So runners on second and third now brings up the third baseman, J.R. Nutt. First pitch to Nutt. Breaking ball misses a little high and inside. Next pitch swung on, fouled back out of play. Next pitch, ground ball, fielded by the shortstop, Vasek. Plenty of time to throw to first in time, and that will end the inning. All right, so Stony Point strikes back, puts up two runs. We head to the top of the second inning. All right, folks, thanks again for coming Score out. Score two to one, players, Stony Point. We'll be right back. Uh, dinner time, if you
All right, left fielder Ramsey Simpson to lead it off for the Mavericks here in the top of the second. A lot of action so far. Through one complete. Score two to one, Stony Point. Simpson looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for a called strike. Yeah, <coughs> hope it stays this way with all this action. Next pitch swung on, a little pop fly, shallow center field, short stops over a couple of steps into the outfield grass, and he makes the grab. Disclaimer, just to, uh, up we just seven, need uh, Neil you know, to have a little bit more action than Stony Point. If you <laughs> <laughs> get that lead, hold that lead. You know, so. All right, one down. I went away. It brings up the third baseman, Joseph Sandusky. And there's a fastball. Comes in a little high and tight. Misses for ball. Next pitch breaking ball catches the outside corner for called strike one. Like a slider there with some late break comes in catches the inside corner for called strike two. It's a little difficult for me at least at this angle. To, I thought it might be that slider inside, like two inside, but yeah, it's hard from yeah, this angle hard. here. Regardless, two strikes. Sandusky fouled that one off. Next pitch misses low and outside. 2-2 two, two the count now. Two two pitch misses high and out. Full count now. Yeah, the 3-2 pitch. Swung on, line drive, going to get go, down, down into right field in, in, in. for a single. Yeah. I'm real impressed with this Stepping freshman, Sandusky. Freshman third baseman. Yes, indeed. Has a good presence. Doesn't doesn't look like the field and the, the varsity experience too much for him there. Just doing a good job. High confidence level. And, uh, you know, just he's ready. He seems like he is ready every game, ready to play. Level. So Sandusky is aboard with one out. That brings up designated hitter Caleb Crail. And first pitch to or next pitch to Crail is breaking ball that's in there for a call strike. That was the first pitch. First pitch to Crail, call strike. I knew what you meant. <laughs> Next pitch fastball. Empire said caught the outside corner. Strike two. Sandusky getting an average lead over there at first. Next pitch break a ball, plenty of time to see it coming. Crail waits back and just kind of fouls it off, spoils it. Runner goes, pitches a ball, a breaking ball that misses outside, and plenty of time, not even a throw down. Yeah. So Sandusky steals second. Or excuse me, Sandusky standing up, second base. No throw. Takes away with a force, and here comes the one-two pitch to Crail. Misses, gets away from the catcher, goes back to the screen, and that's going to allow Sandusky to easily roll into third base. So he is now sitting there in scoring position for 
Caleb Crail with one out. And Sandusky the tying run at third base. With one down. And Stony Point defense coming up right on the grass to try to cut that run off at home if possible. 2 2 pitch coming up to Crail. Pitch is swung on and fouled back out of play. Boy, I tell you, with that gray sky, it's easy to lose a ball up there when it goes up. Easy kid. There's some kids back there. Oh, they're fine. <laughs> kids playing in the back. <laughs> I was like, that foul ball. I was like, watch out. Another 2 2 pitch coming up here to Crail. Bounces in the dirt, kept in front, though, by the catcher Zamudia. It's a good stop by the catcher Zamudia. That will go full count now to Crail. Stony Point defense still up on the grass. Next pitch is swung on, popped up. Looks like it's going to get yes. just. Uh, against the net. Stayed in the park, but uh, rolled off the net, so it'll be ruled out of play. And with that pitch, it has now been an eight pitch at bat for Crail here. Pitch number nine coming up. Keep working them, Crail. Just checking the radar here. Doesn't look like he's, you know, dark gray clouds, but nah. Ah, strike three. 3-2 three, pitch, called a strike on the outside corner. Stepping up to the plate number 15, James Morio. Radar, nothing too threat. No, nothing threatening at all. So, just a lot of, just dark, dark skies. So two outs brings up number nine hitter James Morio. He swings to the first pitch, fly ball into shallow right field. Right fielder coming in a couple of steps, and now second baseman is going to take it, and that's going to end the inning. So Mavs get one aboard, get them all the way around to third, but can't unable to bring him in on right. one hit. Turns out the concession stand is Head, now heading holding, to the bottom so of the second inning. Score still two to one, Stony Point. We'll be right back. See what us. All right, Stony Point pitcher Alvera will lead it off of here in the bottom of the second. The Alvera, the eight hitter, Cohen, the nine hitter, then back to the top of the Stony Point order. And first pitch fastball is in there for a called strike. One breaking ball misses a little high and out. Next 
next pitch fouled right off of the direct shot right off yeah. of the catcher Banks' mask there. <laughs> oh, he's fine. He's had a season to remember, and if he can't remember it in his brain, he can look at his body and all the... The iron horse. <laughs> One, two, the count to Alvera. Next pitch swung on, breaking ball fouled back out of play. Can I look? <laughs> You're good. It's not coming at us? It, okay. cl it cleared the bleed Clear? that some. Clear? Yeah. Okay. One, two, oh, pitch. yeah, he went. That's oh. strike three. Struck him out on the high cheese. Tried to hold back. Unable to do so. Third strikeout so far of the night for Morial. Blame it on the high cheddar. Cohen. One away brings up the number nine hitter and left fielder for Stony Point, Julian Cohen. First pitch breaking ball misses a little outside. Ball one. Pitch swung on foul back out of play. Oh, it is a unusually mild 69 degrees out here right now. Although I think tomorrow the high is supposed to be 91, so it'll be short lived. What we're uh, what we're enjoying here tonight. Shocking. That's Texas weather for you, Jason. Indeed it is. Another foul ball. Wonder what the weather's like up in Pennsylvania right now. I think there your, was snow. Your, uh, <laughs> native state. I wouldn't be surprised at all there's snow up there right now. I saw somebody got snow. Yeah. One two pitch. Catches the outside oh, corner. Outside Call strike corner. three. Woo. Two quick outs. Second strike out of the inning. Back to back strikeouts. Yes, sir. Here at the top of the second. That brings us back to the top of the Stony Point this order. To the top of the order, number 16, Alex Hall. Second baseman Alex Hall comes up to the plate. Hall singled and scored a run in the first. First pitch, breaking ball swung on. It's going to get foul, grounded down the third base line. Or third base territory, I should say. 91 for a high tomorrow here. There it is. And then, let's see, Thursday, it'll be 27. <laughs> for God, the I hope not. Temperature <laughs> with snow flurries. Yeah. Owen breaking ball swung on, grounded to second base, fielded by Goins. He's going to throw over to first, and that will end the inning. Weather only in Texas. Uh, I, like, I like what I saw just, you know, right there. We're just going to keep talking about the weather during yeah, uh, uh, Mavs defensive outings, <laughs> and we'll get more 1-2-3s just like that one. No runs, no hits, two strikeouts. Four total so far for the pitcher, Brandon Morio. We head to the top of the third. Score still 2-1. to one. We'll be right More back. More weather to come. <laughs> All right, we're back to the top of the Mavericks order here to lead off the third inning. Second baseman Jack Goins stands in. Goins with a single and represents the one run scored so far tonight for the Mavericks. Took a cut on the first pitch he saw, the first pitch of the game. Lined it out in the center field to lead off the game. Let's do it again. No, don't do it again. Looks at it first pitch. Breaking ball misses a little high. Smart. Lay off that. You don't want that. It'll be Goins, Vasek, and Windesman. That first pitch was ugly. 
Looks pretty swung on hard ground ball right into the glove of the third baseman, though. He throws over to first, throw bounces in there, but picked picked well by the Stony Point third baseman for the first out. That brings up number nine, Ryan Vasek. Right. One away, brings up Ryan Vasek. Vasek with a single as well, and then was out on a fielder's choice. And he looks at a first pitch breaking ball that's in there for a called strike. Another breaking ball. This one misses a little outside low. One one count. Next pitch bounces. Two balls, one strike to Vasek. Two one pitch swung on, fly ball. Woo! That's going to get whoa, over, the, over, over the over the head of the left fielder. Yes, it is. Wow, he was playing in way was, too shallow. I, I was surprised how shallow that left fielder was. I I was about to comment. Stuffing sure enough, the eight, hits the ball over his head. Stand up double for Ryan. Stand up Vasek. double. If the left fielder had been playing kind of normal position, it probably would have been a fairly routine fly ball. But he ended up having to turn his back and try to catch it over his shoulder and uh, unable to come up with it. So Vasek with a one out double, and that'll bring up the number three hitter, Chris Windesman. Swings and misses at a first pitch breaking ball there for a strike. Well, I also paused because the left fielder looked like he could have made the catch. I wasn't sure. He was going to make the over the shoulder he catch. He did. He looked like he was tracking it, but. Uh, Fortunately, he did. <laughs> well, runner goes. There goes Vosick. Pitch is a called strike, but uh, Vosick easily steals third, not even a throw down. Yeah, he didn't even need to slide. He did slide, but easily made it into third base. <laughs> For stolen base. Never miss an opportunity to get pants dirty. I, his mother has a washing machine, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> it was the 0 2 pitch of Windsman. Pitch bounces in the dirt, kept in front though by the Stony Point catcher. As his mother looked right at me, he's like, with those big old eyes, those big blue eyes. <laughs> yes, you do have a washing machine, <laughs> Okay, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> Here we go, Windsman. Back to baseball. 1-2 pitch. Another breaking ball. Swung on and missed. Strike three, Got but run. it gets away from the catcher. They're going to throw down to first and complete the drop third strike out. Vosick holds up. Does not try to advance the score on the drop third strike. Jackson Collins. So two outs. Brings up cleanup hitter Jackson Collins. First pitch to Collins misses low. Situation here early in the game, 2-1. Not trying to do too much, just find some grass, hit it somewhere they're not. Allow Vosick to score, tie the game up. Hit the top half of the ball, something hard, you know, line drive on the ground, that just like that. And there he does exactly just that. that, top half of the ball. Hard ground ball, yep. short stop side, gets into the left field for a two-out single and an RBI as Vasek comes around from third and scores, making the score all tied up at two apiece here. Clutch hit by Jackson Collins. Not only a hit base hit in the left field, but RBI, tying the score 2-2. So Collins is aboard at first, two outs, brings up the catcher Garrett Banks. Banks flew out to uh, right field in his first at bat. He's back in there. So the pitcher Alvaro throws over to first. Collins not normally thrown to be a base, known to be a base stealing threat, but uh, never know. <laughs> They're definitely keeping him honest over there. 
Well, he's got the adrenaline, uh, you know, going right now. Oh, no, for sure. And for that RBI. Reason. He's probably going, wow, I haven't been thrown out. <laughs> I haven't yeah. been checked on first this <laughs> yeah, whole he's, season. <laughs> he's, he's getting a little bit more, maybe. Off of the oh, he goes. And it's a big <laughs> run. And it's run and it. And bank yes. throws it off. Line drive gets through the 5-6 hole in the infield there and in the left field for another single. Jackson Collins, yeah. He was he was off to the races. Hit and run. Well executed. So runs on yes, first sir. and second now. Brings up Ramsey Simpson. Simpson popped out to shortstop in his first at bat. Oh, we got a courtesy runner for uh, for our catcher Banks at first. Number 22, Ryan Shook. Ryan Shook, yeah. Gone in his place. So Shook at first, Collins at second, and fresh count to our hitter Ramsey Simpson. Oh, and he just all over that murders Sorry. a first pitch <laughs> breaking ball there, but <laughs> lines it sharply foul. I suspect that we're, there's a lot of foul balls so far. Umpires and one umpire needs some more to keep the game going here. Oh, one pitch coming up to Simpson. Another breaking ball. Watches this one in there this time for call strike two. So the breaking ball fouls it off this time. <clears throat> I really didn't give it any thought at all, but there have been, until now, there have been a lot of foul balls mm -hmm. already. Well, from the previous so inning and this on one, too, this yeah. Game, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and two, the count to Simpson. Next pitch misses outside, almost gets away from the catcher, but he manages to lurch over and keep it in front. A little bit of wind blowing in against the hitter here, picking up. And the one-two pitch to Simpson. Swung on line drive into the gap. Into left field, that's going to get down for a single. Collins is going to be waved around from second, and he's going to score. And that's going to put the Mavs up on the RBI single by Simpson. 3-2 McNeil is now the score. Stepping up, number seven, Joseph. Ramsey Simpson with the RBI. Good piece of hitting there by Simpson with two outs and two strikes. Took a pitch, went the opposite way with it. Brings in the RBI. Put the Mavs on top, 3-2. That brings up third baseman Sandusky who has a single in his first at bat and a stolen base. And he takes a swing at a first pitch breaking ball. Slow roller to third He's base. He's quick. He's quick. He throws Ready. over. And Shook's going to try to come all the way around to score. And he's going to be thrown out at home. Aggressive base running by Ryan Shook. Probably more than likely sent home by Silver Aguirre, you know, and thrown out at home. But, uh, hey, Mavs do take the lead. That's Three to right. two is so the score. Single by Mavs. Sandusky, but... Shook thrown out, trying to advance from second there. But, as my partner said, Mavs tied up. Or well, actually, go ahead. Lead. We go ahead yeah. by score 3-2. Well, to Mavs up 3-2, yep. We'll be right back. Tigers, number 
All right, leading off for the Tigers here in the bottom of the third, number two hitter, Alex Landaverde. So he's the first pitch, and it goes the opposite way, but they launch a little ground ball in between first and second base and into right field for a leadoff single. So leadoff single for Landa Verde. He's two for two with two singles so far tonight. And that brings up number three hitter Garcia, who reached on a hit by pitch last inning to load the bases. First pitch breaking ball. Bounces but kept in the dirt by the catcher Banks. Look, we have some activity over in the Stony Point bullpen. Right hander warming up. We do not have binoculars uh, here with us, so cannot see a number in the Stony Point bullpen. Not sure who it is, but yep, there is some activity. Count now 2 and 0 oh to the hitter Garcia as Morio throws over to check the runner Landa Verde who's back in time. There it is. 2 0 -oh pitch is in there for a called strike. Yeah, wind is definitely picked up. Still blowing in on the hitter. Next pitch, good. Break them all in there for another called strike. Two balls, two strikes, the count. And next pitch, fastball misses high. So count will go full to Garcia. And next pitch misses outside, ball four. That will make it runners on first and second. Bring up the number four hitter, Orozco. Orozco struck out his plate, first at bat tonight. Okay, extremely hard hit, ground to Sandusky, and then we just go around the horn. Triple play. And we'd have it all on film here, folks. There. <laughs> I, I'm calling it now. And Roscoe swings and misses a first pitch fastball. Strike one. Another fastball, another swing and a miss. Strike two. Yeah, I just double checked. We got the live video feed. So. Brandon's like, Brandon Morio's like, nah, I just take care of this myself. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Next pitch swung on, Ooh, lined out of play. Up. Foul over the uh, maps visiting dugout. O2 pitch coming up. Swung on line sharply to shortstop. Oh. Just gets through the glove of Vasek in the center field. Vasek to shortstop. Chris Blanderberry is going to try to score from second, and he's going to be in there safely. So an RBI single for Orozco. I got to give Ramsey Simpson credit, the left fielder for the Mavericks. That was a throw that was on a dime. I know, you know, yes, the runner scored, but it's a good throw. It was a good throw. Not quite in time. It's not, yeah. So the RBI single ties uh, the score up three to three. That brings up the catcher Ramudio, who struck out looking in his first at bat. He squares around a bunt, lays it down, but it hit him. Batter's out. And that batter is out. I was wondering if the umpire was going to see that. There was clear as day from where we sit. But umpire saw it. So first out of the inning. Since the batter was in play. Attempting the bunt. Here comes head coach for the Mavericks, Silver Aguirre. Wanted to confirm the call. Oh, and the umpire did not. The home plate umpire doesn't ah. seem to believe that. The batter bunted it into himself while exiting the box. 
So he's going to confer with the field umpire, who I don't imagine was in any better position to see it. No. So I got a feeling this is going to be ruled no. just a foul ball. Well, it looked clear as day to us. <laughs> we can't go to New York. Oh, no, I got New York. Hold on. Yep. Here's their... Oh, and so they did. They, they called did. them out. They got the call right. Yes. Okay. So I am able to put up one out. All right, so Ramudio out on the bunt that managed to make contact with him as he was exiting the base, or as he was exiting home plate there. So one away. We're still on first and second. Brings up Mutcher, who swings the first pitch and lines it into left field, and Simpson comes over, makes a <laughs> diving grab to his right. Fantastic catch by Simpson. Lays out and Mavericks makes the grab. Left fielder. Woo! Outstanding play. Put a little asterisk next to that one, folks. That brings up number 27, Jay. Big Austin. out there. Otherwise, that ball gets past them, and that's probably two runs. Instead, no doubt. runners freeze on first and second. Two outs. Brings up the third baseman, J.R. Nutt, who grounded out to short in his first at bat. Runner goes from second. They're going to throw Let's down. Go. Throw's going to be offline. And runner from first is going to stay there. Does not advance to second, but uh, Garcia... The runner from second now stands on third. Nice stop by the uh, Mavericks third baseman Sandusky on that one hop into that third was, base on the throw. One. Yeah, and the throw down. There's this. Yeah. So the first pitch to nut was a ball on the after the before the throw down, and that last pitch was a called strike. Next pitch in there called strike two. They're going to throw down a second on the delayed steal. And the steal is successful. Orozco gets in safely to second. Runner did not advance from third to home. So it's runners forces off. Set runners on second and third and one-two count to nut. And next pitch is swung on and fouled. Just got a piece of it fouled back to the screen. Yeah, on that delayed steal, I had my eyes locked on the... Uh the third the runner on third base and he didn't even like <laughs> move towards home plate at all yeah seems like the strategy there was just get rid of force just, but yeah exactly one two pitch oh. breaking ball misses just a little bit outside you're spot on jason just to get rid of the force play so now of course runners on second and third so, oh. Just a little outside, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, great pitch, though. Full count. With two down. Three two pitch, swung on, fouled back out of play. Come get him, Brandon. 3-2 pitch is swung on, lined in the right field, it. right at his yes, brother James. right and at James, his twin brother. Brings right it field. in for the line out to right field to end the inning. So Stony Point puts one more up, ties it up at three apiece on two hits. We're heading to <coughs> top of the fourth inning. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back.
Designated hitter Caleb Crow will lead it off with the Mavericks here in the top of the fourth inning. All tied up, three apiece. A lot of back and forth so far. Three runs each, seven hits for the Mavericks to just five for Stony Point so far. Both, the running, both starting pitchers still remain in the game. As Crow looks at a breaking ball that misses a little bit high for ball one. Next pitch bounces in front of the plate for ball two. Next pitch swung on, hard ground ball, gets through the glove of third baseman, though, and into left field for a base hit. Let's see, is Craig going to try to grab two? He is. He's yeah. winding all the way to the sec plate, and the second Woo! is safe. in there. Underneath the tag. Hey, you hit it hard. Good things are going to happen, and he didn't hesitate routing first base. So a leadoff double to start the fourth inning for Crail. And what I love, too, Jason, is Crail sliding into second base. He pops up, and he with his arms is like, <laughs> safe. <laughs> and it looks like that's going to be the end of the night for the starting pitcher, Olvera. Crail's still the umpire. You better call me safe. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to try to sell it. I know, it doesn't at all. All right. So let's so see. That's. Olvera is done. It. Yep. And Here. can't quite get a number yet on our new relief pitcher. Another right hander coming in for the Tigers. 25. Looks like uh, Riley Polson comes in. He'll be the new pitcher. We'll let him get his warm up pitches and we'll be right back. Riley Polson. All right, so the new pitcher, Riley Polson, comes into the game in relief for Joaquin Olvera. And he inherits a runner on second base. Caleb Crail with the leadoff double to start the inning. Nobody out. And left-hand hitting right fielder James Morio will be the first batter he faces. Morio popped out to second base in his first at bat in the second. It looks like a first pitch fastball in there for called strike one. A couple of scores around the district so far tonight. Vandegrift leading Hutto by a score of 3-0 in the bottom of the second. Cedar Ridge and Westwood tied up at zero still in the bottom of the fourth. Next pitch misses a little low.
One one pitch coming up. Breaking ball swung on. Miss strike two. Man, looks like the Stony Point catcher might have wore that one off of the inside of his thigh there. So umpire's gonna give him a little time to walk it off. All right, hopefully the umpire returns. And the one-two pitch to Morio coming up. Pitch misses inside, ball two. And two two pitches in there for called strike three. So Polson comes in, gets one quick strikeout, first out. Brings us back to the top of the Mavericks order. Lead off hitter Jack Goins stands in. Goins one for two with a single and a ground out. He swings the first pitch, line drive into center field. Center fielder's right underneath now makes the grab for the second out of the inning. Well hit ball just lined right at the center fielder. I thought it was uh, a line drive hit into center field when it left the bat. Ball just hung up there yep. and did not die down. So two outs now for the Mavs. That brings up Ryan Vosick. Vosick with a single and a double so far tonight and a run scored. And first pitch gets away from the catcher. And that allows Crail to just casually walk his way to third. So once again, Mavs with a runner in scoring position. Two outs, and we got a 1-0 count here to the hitter Vasek. Heads up. Yeah. Next pitch is <laughs> swung on and lined, bounces off the net, and then goes into the Mavs dugout. Is that one of the female trainers? That I think it bounced. So it bounced off the net. It got her off the and net. Yeah, I yeah, think, yeah, I think it, they're it just it having did. a goof with it there. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're fine, dude. One on one <laughs> pitch. I think it got her in the back or something, though. But <laughs> yeah, she was probably just more surprised All by it. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. 1-1 one, one pitch by Vos or, or to Vosik, swung on and fouled back. So he stands in now with a 1-2 count. One two pitch. Ground ball right back to the pitcher. Fields it, throws it over to first in time, and that ends the inning. So leadoff hit by Cra leadoff double by Crail goes nowhere after. Stony Point brings in Polson for the pitching change. No runs, one hits. We hit at the bottom of fourth inning. Still tied up at three apiece. Sorry we couldn't get you home, Crail. <laughs> we'll be right back. 3-3. Three, three.
All right, it'll be 8-9, then back to the top of the Stony Point order here in the bottom, <coughs> bottom of the fourth. All right, folks, bottom of the fourth, leading off here, Tigers, number 25, Riley Poulsen. So hitting in the eighth spot, which was where the starting pitcher, Olivera, was, will be the new pitcher, Riley Poulsen. And he looks at a first pitch breaking ball, misses a little low and out for ball one. Next pitch. This is a little bit somewhere. Ball two. Sure look good. We are just moving right along. Bottom fourth. 2 0 pitch. We're going to ground ball. Kind of in the hole between short and third. You Fielded just up in the it. backhand by Vosick. Short, but uh, Ryan Vosick. Not going to have time to throw over there. It'll be an infield single for Polson to start off the fourth. Or start at the bottom of the fourth. And he's going to get a courtesy runner. Coming to the plate, we've got number eight, Julian Cohen. Number four. So number four, number Cade, four Crawford Cade Crawford, goes in and will be the courtesy runner at first base. And courtesy that brings up the number nine hitter, four, Cade Crawford. Cohen. Cohen struck out looking in his first at bat. He's going. Runner goes first pitch. First pitch is in there for a called strike. Throw is not going to be in time. So stolen base for Crawford. Next pitch misses a little outside low. Squares around a bunt, lays it down, but it is going to go foul towards the first base side. One ball, two strikes, the count now to Cohen. One two pitch swung on lofty and it's gonna be foul. I don't think it's gonna be playable. Morio in right field is over and it looks like he made he the grab. The ball. Made the grab on the run in foul territory over in right field. It's so far I can't even see it. My folks. vision uh, and yours too was obstructed. You know, but I was looking right at the home plate umpire and he signaled catch out. So I can't believe he caught that ball. Well into foul territory. So unfortunately, that one was probably off camera, oh. but Morio in right field grabs a pop fly oh, yeah. deep into foul territory for the first out. That did allow, it was deep enough and allowed um, Crawford Crawford uh, to tag up and advance from second to third. So Crawford now the runner on third, one out. Back to the top of the order with Hall, who looks at a first pitch ball and swings to the next pitch and laces it foul out of play. Yeah, we did not get that uh, video feed of the uh, the catch by Morio in right field. Could not pan over <laughs> that far to the right. Now, the way that was carrying, <laughs> it looked like it was going to get out of play, but he yeah. somehow brought it in. Outstanding catch. Squares around to Bunt. Bunt is down first base oh, side. Oh, what a and bunt. he's going to be in, and the run's going to score. And the go-ahead RBI Bunt single. Putting Stony Point up now, four to three. Up to the plate, 11, over McNeil. Alex so some well-timed and well-executed small ball by Stony Point here. Puts him up, and Morio throws over to first while the runner was still getting his lead. So good, good heads up. Runner's back in time though, and number two hitter. Alex Landaverdi stands in. Landaverdi with two singles so far tonight, also two runs scored. What a play call by the head coach there at Stony Point. And the execution, you know, it's one thing to to have the call, to put the call in from the head coach, but to execute the... Runner goes. Yeah, runner goes and there's no throw. It's a called strike, yeah. it's dropped by Banks 
on the transfer there, trying to get it for a throwdown. And so Hall now the runner on second with one out. And it should be a one and one count, despite what the scoreboard says out there. Yeah. But the execution of I Hall the, with that next RBI. pitch is swung on, little yeah, soft yeah, line drive just, just at the edge of the infield there. Gets into center the field for a base hit. Plastic over his head. Runner's going to hold up at third. So back to back singles here puts runners on first and third with one out. And the number three hitter Garcia stands in. Garcia has reached Garcia. base both times tonight. First on hit by pitch and then uh, in the third inning at walk. And he looks at the first pitch called strike. Starting pitcher for the Mavericks, Morio, working on pitch number 70 coming up here this at bat. Right. Okay. Runner goes from first, pitches in the dirt, okay. kept in front, but allows Landaverde, the runner, to easily advance from first to second. Takes away the force. So runners on second and third now, one out. Yeah, I was just about to say, and how great it would be to roll it up right here. <laughs> but, well, the force, that takes away the force, though. So. Next pitch fastball's in there, called strike two, right at the knees. It's okay, because this young man <clears throat> on the mound, Brandon Morio, can pitch his way out of it. One-two pitch. Got about a quarter swing around and managed to just check swing foul over towards his own dugout. Umpire having a hard time getting the ball out to uh, <laughs> back to the pitcher here on, a, on the I line. <laughs> Keeps bouncing it off the mound. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> One two pitch almost got him swinging at it, but oh, holds back. He wanted it, didn't he? Two balls, two strikes, the count to Garcia. And Garcia calls time. Next pitch, breaking ball. Oh, just misses. Three two pitch. Comes in and uh, appears to hit him. Hitter seems to think that something intentional was about no. that. Not entirely sure why you would think that in this situation here, but uh, whatever, it's high school kids, folks, what can you do? So another hit by pitch, loads the bases. And with one out, that brings up number four hitter, Cedric Orozco. Oh, and we're going to have a visit to the mound by the Mavericks head coach, O'Geary. Nothing intentional at all about that last pitch. Just making a statement, no. And we'll just leave it at that. Head coach for the Mavericks, Silver Aguirre, just making sure everybody's on the same page. Right, so he's gonna keep Mario in. Yep. With one out and bases loaded. You got this, Brandon. Here we go. Play ball. Oh, oh he throws out at first, and oh, oh my God, they call him safe. What are you looking at? That they're, they feel the umpire is going to get an earful about that because he was dead to rights at first. Oh, com completely had him leaning. But he that called him safe. Should have been the second out, but he called him safe. Be better, Blue. We got to continue on. First pitch to Orozco as a breaking ball is in there for a called strike. Score's 
squares around a bunt. It's going to be a suicide squeeze as the runner was charging, but he bunts it foul. For the second strike. How about that? Suicide squeeze. That wasn't even safety version, folks. He was, the runner from yeah. third was full on charging. Oh, yeah. But unable to get it down. So 0 2 count now to Orozco. And he goes yes. high cheese. Umpire says he goes high around cheese, and he, does and he strike wins. Three. For the second out. Strike out for Brandon Morio. Fifth strike out of the night for Morio. So two outs now. Base is still loaded. Brings up the catcher, Ramudio. Or Zamudio. Zamudio with a strikeout and then out on a bunt. And he takes a big hack <laughs> on a breaking ball and was way out in front of it and missed strike one. Yeah, Zamudio on his last at bat bunted into his own person while trying to exit the box and was out. They're going to throw it to first again. Caught Jackson Collins uh, off guard with that throwback. Another close play, but yeah. runner at first is back safely. Throwing them breaking balls, personally, but that's just me. Goes up high with a fastball. Yeah. This is high and out ball. What one. do I know? <laughs> I'm just color commentary. <laughs> Still waiting for my paycheck. You got yours yet? Next pitch, breaking ball in there. Call breaking strike ball, two. Ball strike two. You got yours yet, Jason? No. Nope. Your paycheck. <laughs> I think it's held up because everybody, because the mail system's clogged with everybody's tax returns. I think that's what's going on there. Postal system's overrun. Snail mail. Okay, here we go. One, two. Ah! One, two pitch. Ah! One, two miss. Strike Let's three. Go. Oh! Brandon Morio's like, I will take care of this myself. I didn't get the pick off at first base. I will take care of this myself. I love it. Way to go, Brandon. So, big strikeout for yes, Morio. Sir. Sixth Huge of the night. Out. Gets out of the bases loaded jam Six with no K's. damage. Let's go, Mavs. A lot of life in the Mavs dugout after that appearance there. All right. Four to three. Mavs chasing one run. We're heading to the top of the fifth. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, heart of the lineup due up for the Mavs here in the top of the fifth inning. All right, folks, we go into the top Leading off with Chris Winnesman. The Mavericks will be number 18, Chris Winnesman. Winnesman looking for his first hit tonight. Over 2 with a 
reached on a fielder's choice and then uh, was out on a drop third strike. Swings to the first pitch from Paulson and fouls it back into the parking lot. Fortunately, I parked pretty far away, so I think my car's okay. That's actually <laughs> no joke. That's about the vicinity where I parked. I, yeah. uh, so, what do you do? A one if pitch. it hits it, it hits it. One pitch to Wittesman. Breaking ball swung on a miss strike two. O2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on miss. Strike three. Second strikeout for the relief pitcher Polson this game so far. Brings up Jackson Collins. Collins, one for two. Had a single back in the third. And Big RBI. Run. And it was an RBI single and then managed to score third. himself. Yep. A steady diet of sliders. Last couple of pitches here from Polson as Collins looks at a slider that's in there for a called strike. It's like, okay, now you've seen it. Next pitch, fastball comes in high and inside. Been back and forth, pretty even here. Score four to three, Stony Point. Both teams eight hits apiece. Here in the top of the fifth inning. As Collins looks at a ball that misses down to the dirt. Or the turf version of the dirt. <laughs> My adrenaline is just, it's still hot, you know. This is like, this is excitement, man. This has been a lot of fun, this game. What a hack by Big Jackson Collins. Moonshot hack there by uh, Collins on yes. a fastball, but missed. Yeah, he right did two. miss. But, oof. If he would have connected there. So, we got 2-2. Two, two. Lays off the breaking ball that misses low and out. So it'll be full count, full boat to Collins. But there is another right-hander warming up over in the uh, Stony Point bullpen. I was wondering too about the Mavs bullpen. I uh, it's been quiet over there. I, nothing. Yeah, next pitch swung on a miss, strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Polson here in the top of the fifth. And that brings up catcher Garrett Banks. Banks with a single. Next Back in the third inning. Banks. And Banks swings the first pitch, fouls it back out of play. This is crazy for me to admit, but What's I'm that? actually kind of cold out here. It's chilly. I won't be saying that tomorrow when it's 88, <laughs> but it's kind of cold out here right now. Oh, I, you're not the only one. Uh, <coughs> oh, lays off the breaking ball there, checked his swing, did not go around. So one ball, one strike, the count to Banks. I have to admit myself, I'm glad I have this gray hoodie. But even with it, I'm still a little chilly. 1-1 <laughs> so. one, one pitch. Mm -mm. This is inside and high. No, sir, don't be calling that, and he did not. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. <laughs> don't be calling that. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Next cup. Or that one either. Closer inside <laughs> there. 31. With two down. Come on, G. Come on, Garrett. Ah. Uh. Ramsey Simpson stands on deck should uh, Banks find a way to reach base safely here. And the next pitch. No, it hit his hand, didn't uh, it? Sounds, umpire says it hit the uh, bottom of his bat there instead of the hands. So Banks heads back now with a full count. That's when 
you're the batter. You're like, no, right here. It hit me right here. Point to your hand, the bottom of your hand. You know, you sell it. That's right. <laughs> Look how swollen and red the bottom oh, of my palm is you here. Start, yeah, you start grabbing it with the other hand. Just saying. 3-2 pitch to Banks. Misses inside low. Or you take ball four. Two out walk for Banks. Two out walk. There you go, Garrett. Brings up number 12, Way to get on. We're going to have a courtesy runner again for the yeah. catcher, Banks. Same runner last time. Number 22, Ryan Shook, goes in in his place at first. And that brings Ramsey Simpson up. Simpson one for two with a RBI single in his last at bat. Takes a big hack at the first pitch and misses strike one. And Ramsey's not a big kid at all, but wow. Took a monster hack right there. He's got some pop, though. He he's, has he's hit a, a couple oh, of balls out to the fence. Oh, yeah. A lot of pop for that size. Ooh, there's one. And that's pretty swung on. There's that's a, a lot of pop. Oh, just hung up long enough. Thought it was over the left fielder's head. Once again, left fielder playing in very shallow. Almost got burned <laughs> again, but managed to track it down for the third out of the inning. What were you saying about Ramsey Simpson's pop in his bat? Yeah, he's got some pop. <laughs> All right. All right, so Mavs get a, a runner on with two outs by virtue of the walk there, but unable, I'm unable to bring him around. No runs, no hits, heading to the bottom of the fifth inning. Mavs still chasing one run, down by a score of 4-3. to three. We'll be right back. Where the parents came from. Oh. <laughs> All right, we've got a pitching change for the Mavs here in the bottom of the fifth. Um, senior left-hander Tim Calderon comes in in relief for Brandon Morio. And he will face the 6-7-8 part of the Tigers order, leading off number 21, Mutcher. Mutcher with a single and a line-out in his two appearances tonight. <clears throat> and looks at a first pitch called strike. Another called strike, back to back. Start the at bat, 0 2. I like it. I like it a lot. Will he pitch a third one? Breaking ball. Yes, he will. Pitches in First there. Strike three. Look First out. Three straight pitches, three straight strikes. Brings up 
number 27, J.R. Nutt. Well, one away, brings up third baseman J.R. Nutt, over two with a line out and a ground out. First pitch breaking ball misses a little low and outside. So starting pitcher for the Mavericks, Morio leaves after four innings complete, eight hits, four runs, four earned, two walks, and six strikeouts. Well done, Brandon Morio. Left on uh, 83 pitches, 54 for strikes. Six Ks. Um, that's a nice number. Six over four ain't bad. Not as, too shabby. As the hitter nut swings and misses. 2-1 pitch coming up. Sorry, Jason. I was about to say. Line drive. Oof. Right at the third baseman, Sandusky. Sandusky with a line drive catch for the second out for the Mavericks. So two quick outs for the relief pitcher Calderon here in the bottom of the fifth. Steady diet of uh, breaking balls by Calderon. We've got a John Shook sighting here. Howdy, sir. Yeah, that brings <laughs> How you up doing? the pitcher Riley Polson. Polson goes out and drops down to a knee. Just swing to miss there. Strike one. Polson uh, came in the fourth inning and had a single and a run scored in his only at bat so far. Uh, next pitch bounces in the dirt. Ball one. Paint that out. Nope. Oh, Didn't get the outside corner painted for their, that uh, pitch. So ball two. Next pitch swung on ground battle shortstop fielded by Vasek. Throws Adam over Murray. first. Picked out Way of the dirt by Collins pick in that time. out of the dirt, Jackson Collins. For the third out. So Calderon right. comes in in relief. Sits down the Tigers, one, two, three. No runs, no hits. Heading to the top of the sixth inning. Seven, eight, nine hitters do up to bat for the Mavs when we get back. Let's go. All right, Joseph Sandusky to lead it off for the Mavericks here in the top of the sixth inning. Sandusky two for two with two singles so far. A couple other score updates from around the district. Hutto has gone up and now leads Vandegrift by a score of five to three in the top of the fifth. And Sandusky swings the first pitch. Ground ball to first baseman. He's going to run over and take it himself. Three unassisted for the first out of the inning. So yeah, Hutto over Vandegrift right now in the top of the fifth, five to three, and Westwood leading uh, Cedar Ridge by one zero in the top of the seventh inning. Thank you, sir, for those updates. And that'll bring up the designated hitter Caleb Crail. Crail had a double back in the fourth inning.
First pitch slider misses outside. Fastball is in there for call to strike one. Activity in the uh, Stony Point bullpen. Next pitch breaking ball swung on miss strike two. A little activity it seems like might be going on possibly in the Mavericks bullpen. Yes. Yeah, possibly a couple of kids in there. And one two fastball misses high and outside, ball two. Nobody on one out here in the top of the sixth. Caleb Krell at DH at bat. And two two pitch coming up. Breaking ball bounces in the dirt. Count will go full. Three-two pitch, swung on, hard ground ball goes off. Come the, on. goes off the pitcher's yeah. glove and then off second base, and ricochets into center field for a one-out single. There you go, Caleb Crail. Two hits on the night for Crail. And that brings up James Morio. We're going to have a pinch runner come in in place of Crail. So Crail will leave the game. Ryan Shook. And number 22, Ryan Shook, comes in and will be the pinch runner at first base. So that the ball that was hit by Caleb Crail, did it glance off the glove? It went off uh, of either his glove or somewhere on his body. Stony Point pitcher? Yeah, yeah I then, thought so. Seemed to also kick off the side of the second base bag, too, to add some additional yeah. ricochet effect. I saw that. So James Morio stands in, and he looks at a first pitch ball that misses low. Down by one run here in the top of the sixth inning. you got to imagine that Coach Aguirre is trying to cook up some kind of play here with the pinch runner. As Morio swings at the next pitch, lofts a fly ball into shallow right field. That's going to get down, but oh. Shook got hung up as he was expecting it to be caught. Yeah. I think most everybody, including, of course, Ryan Shook, thought that ball was going to be caught by the right fielder. Yeah, it's a and, tough one there. And just died. <laughs> just got hung out. Texas Leaguer just got hung out, just died, and dropped in there. So two outs now. Morio the runner on first, and that brings us back to the top of the Mavs order with Jack Goins. So he's the first oh. pitch line drive into right field. That's going to get down for a single. So Goins being aggressive at the plate here tonight. Making good contact. Now two hits on the night. First pitch swinging. And that line drive into right field. Keeps the inning alive. Yes, sir. And now with runners on first and second, two outs brings up Ryan Vosick. Vosick two for three tonight himself with a single, double, and a run scored. Holds a swing off on a first pitch breaking ball that's in there for a called strike. Let's go, Rhino. Next pitch bounces, kept in front by the Stony Point catcher. 1 1 count to Vasek. One one pitch swung on ground ball there. there. there Bounce off the glove of the third baseman. He's going to try to throw over to first, but no play. 
So an infield single for Vasek will load the bases. Sure would have been nice if that ball would have caromed off of his glove and then <laughs> got into the, <laughs> infield, or the outfield. Into the yeah. outfield. That would have scored a run. With scoring a tying uh, fourth run for the Mavericks. Uh, didn't happen that way, but hey, inning is kept alive with the infield hit by Vasek. Bases loaded. Opportunity here to tie up or potentially go ahead for Chris Windesman. Bases two loaded. Two down, two outs. Looks like first pitch fastball in there for called strike one. And the next pitch breaks, breaks the ball, breaks right into his butt cheek. <laughs> yes, it did. And we so got a tie ball game, it's folks. An RBI hit by pitch, and that ties the game. Four, folks. four. Couldn't have come at a better time. <laughs> butt cheek. <laughs> Says Jason Boy. I love it. I, did, I mean, but it's true. <laughs> it's, it's, like, yeah. it's where it got him. It's where it got him. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it. Keep it, give you as much detail as I can here, folks. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to have a pitching change. That's so Polson is done. Yeah. And I can't quite see the number of the incoming pitcher here. Number nine, possibly? Number nine? Yeah, nine. So number nine, Peyton Owen, comes in in relief for Polson. We will let him get his warm-up pitches, and we'll be right back. Okay, so Peyton Owen, your new pitcher for Stony Point. Here in the top of the sixth, he inherits a bases loaded two out situation. And he will face the number four hitter, Jackson Collins, as his first hitter. Number 24, Jackson Collins. Collins one for three tonight with a single and a run scored back in the third inning. Tie score, tied up at four piece. Opportunity here for the Mavs to uh, go ahead. And Collins looks at a first pitch breaking ball that misses outside for ball one. The wind is definitely picked up, still blowing in against the hitter. And it was like right after that first pitch, here comes the wind. Oh, next pitch is swung on and fouled ball. out of play. And I'm feeling a little precip. Just a little bit. A yep, little mist again. A little mist. One one pitch coming up to the hitter Collins. Heads up. Comes in high and tight, misses. Ball two. Boy, this is fun, isn't it, Jason? It is fun. This is what it's all about. A lot of back and forth this game. Yeah. Four lead changes across six innings. Next pitch swung on. Fly ball. That's going to be foul, and it's going to get out of play. Hey, you're on it, Jackson. Straight it out. So 
the Mavericks runners reset to their bases. Deuces. Twos across the board. Two balls, Sorry. two strikes. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. And next pitch breaking ball misses outside for ball three. So here we go, folks. Full count, two outs, bases loaded. And the pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. Top side of the ball, top half. Hard grounder is just fine. Pitch is swung on, line drive into right field. Right fielder's over a couple of steps to his right or left and makes the grab though, and that ends the inning. But the Mavs strike back. Yes, they do. Score one to tie it up on an RBI hit by pitch. And we are all tied up at four as we head to the bottom of the sixth inning with Stony Point coming up to bat. We'll be right back, folks. All right, bottom of the sixth inning. The wind and rain have picked up for an added degree of uh, drama to this game here, folks. So, Julian Cohen, number nine hitter, will lead it off for Stony Point this inning. And there goes at least some people to the cars. The first pitch and it's yeah. a line drive that's going to get down it's into left field for a leadoff single. And that'll bring us back to the top of the Stony Point order. Leadoff hitter Hall coming up to the plate. Hall two for three today. Two singles and a ground out. True. Watch the bunt. And he squares around a bunt. Tries to push bunt down first base yep. side. Fielded by Collins at first. He's going to tag the runner out. But he successfully sacrifices the runner on first. Cohen over to second. Puts him in scoring position. Now hitting number 11, Alex Landaverde. So one away. Brings up down. number two here, Land Alex Landaverde. Landaverde three for three tonight. Three singles. I had a feeling the bunt was coming. And looks like we're going to have a pinch runner, number 29, Anthony Landaverde goes in, will be the runner at second in place of the left fielder Cohen who was standing out there. I don't imagine we're going to see bunt here from the no. 
Not now. Hot hitting Landa Verde, who's three for three with three singles tonight. Not now. <clears throat> they have their go ahead runner already at. And Linda Verde swings uh, the first pitch, fouls it out of play. Uh, he's already uh, standing on second base, and yeah, this Linda Verde is—he's uh, hot. Verde. It's actually Linda Alex, the hitter, Linda Verde's younger brother Anthony, standing out there on second base. Okay, thank you for that. And runner goes. He's going. Pitch is called strike. Woo! The throw is in there and in time. <laughs> wow. Second out, gunned him out at third base. Big throw down right on the money for Garrett Banks there. And third base coach and head coach Creek for Stony Point having a conversation with the field umpire. What a throw by Garrett Banks and Sandusky putting the tag down for the second out. Call stands. Two down. So nope. nobody on nobody base on now, yeah. two down. Huge. And the 0-1 pitch coming up to Landa Verde. Swung on and a miss, strike two. That was big time, Jason. That was big. <laughs> that was big. <laughs> and throw, just, throw had to be right on the money. And, and it, it was. actually was. Yeah. 0-2 pitch coming up. Swung on, line drive right back through the... Whoo, I was oh, <laughs> almost caught the ear of uh, the right ear of pitcher Calderon there and goes into the line drive into center field for a two out single. Calderon's breathing a sigh of relief right there that he didn't get hit by that line drive. So Landa Verde the center field four for four, yeah. four singles. Number twenty three Isaiah Garcia. Impressive. And that'll bring up the number three hitter Isaac Garcia. Garcia reached all three times tonight without making contact. Two hit by pitches and a walk. As we mentioned, the wind picking up here manages to blow the hat off of the uh, Mavericks pitcher Calderon while he was while he comes set. He he really didn't have a reaction when his uh, ball cap flew off. I was like, I think he's about to pitch anyway. You know, like hey, no big deal. Next pitch swung on ground ball. That's going to get up the middle in there for a single. Landa Verde is going to head to third, and he's going to come in uh, now uncontested. No hesitation at all. Rounding second and going head first into third base, uncontested. Yep, as you stated, Jason. So now runners on first and third with two down. So it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter. Number 20. So number 20, Lawrence Laura, is going to hit in place of the first baseman, Orozco. So Laura hitting for Orozco in the four spot with runners on first and third and two outs. And he grounds the first pitch to shortstop. He's going to take it and sort of flip it over there to Goins go. and second out. for the yeah. force. Quick and little flip. Second to second base for the force. For the third out. We move so on. Mavs get out of that inning with no damage, despite yeah. some traffic on the base pass. Heading to the top of the seventh, tied up at four apiece, folks. Stay tuned. Mavs coming up to bat.
All right, Garrett Banks will lead us off here in the top of the seventh inning. Banks will face Peyton Owen, who came in in relief last inning for Stony Point. Okay, here we go. First pitch misses outside and low, ball one. The moment of truth. Next pitch swung on, line drive. That's going to get down into center field Great. for a base hit. Great hit. Into center field for Garrett Banks. So leadoff single for Banks to start the top of the seventh. I'll bring up left fielder Ramsey Simpson. Simpson one for three, making good contact tonight, but uh, had a single back in the third. And we have a courtesy runner, number 23, Alex Briseño, goes in and will run in place of the catcher, Garrett Banks, who just reached on the leadoff single. Simpson with a lot of pop in his bat, but just wondering if we're going to see a bunt here. And Silver Aguirre, the Mavs head coach. And flashes bunt, but pulls back. It, yeah. Checking to see what and the reaction of the third baseman will be on a bunt play there. And, and that was strike one. Call. Yeah. Owen throws over to first there to check the runner, Briseño. He's back safely. Briseño just getting, you know, four or five feet off of uh, first base there. Another throw over. Nothing doing. Mm -mm. Very short lead by Brasenia. Simpson lays down a punt right by the pitcher. Yep. He's going to throw over to first base in time to catch the speedy Simpson, but he does sacrifice Brasenia over to second base. Almost a mirror of what uh, occurred with Stony Point last inning as they had a leadoff oh, single and sacrifice bunted that runner over as well. So Ramsey Simpson did his job with the sacrifice bunt. Brasenio stands to second. That brings up Joseph Sandusky. Sandusky two for three with two singles tonight. Hey, first pitch. You get a fastball over the plate that you like, Sandusky. Attack. <clears throat> first pitch breaking ball. Not that one. Misses low, ball one. All knotted up. Both teams four runs. Both teams 11 hits here in the top seven. Next pitch fastball's in there. Called strike one. Next pitch breaking ball swung on. Chopped right back to the pitcher. He's going to underhand it over to first base, and that will retire Sandusky. Briseño does move to third on the ground out. And it'll be two outs now. Runner on third. Go ahead, run a third. And that brings up Caleb Crail. Crail, two for three tonight with a single, a double. We do have a one final score around the district. Westwood has defeated Cedar Ridge by a score of just one to zero. How about that? Ooh. Catcher just getting enough of the ball and, and keeping, keeping the ball in front of him with a runner on third base. Brasenio. Pitch is swung on, grounded, knocked down by the second baseman, but he's going to get lose it, and that's going to yep. allow Brasenio to score. It was a good diving play by the second baseman, but on the he had a hard impact as his head kind of whipped down there and the ball came way loose. To go, yeah, but way to go, Caleb Crail. 
I think they'll probably score that one an infield hit for uh, there. Yeah, Number yeah. 18, James Morio. Most definitely. Infield hit. So RBI infield hit with two outs. Puts the Mavs up on top by a score of 5-4. to four. And that brings up right fielder James Morio. Caleb Crail, 3 for 4 tonight. Have a day, son. First pitch to Morio, misses high and outside for a ball. Is that a couple, is that two RBIs for Caleb Crail? Well, I believe uh, it is. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, I think so, I though. See it here in the book. Officially one RBI so one. far. Yeah. Okay. Next pitch breaking ball misses low, almost at the feet. Yeah. Two and zero the count to Morio. Your turn, James. Next pitch is swung on and lined foul. Good contact though. Bounces off the net over by the Stony Point dugout. It'll be two and one. Pitch, bring ball in there. Call strike two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Caleb Crail, you run around first. And next pitch, break the ball, misses low. We will go to a full count. <clears throat> Three-two pitch, swung on, fouled out of play. He's gonna make him work. Good at bat. With a three-two pitch coming up. Swung on line drive. That's going to get into the gap in the left center field and get down for a single, possibly more. Crail makes it all the way to third. Morio holds up at first. Great hit, James Morio. Nice two out single. Oh, beautiful hit. To keep the inning alive. Now putting runners at uh, first and third. And we're back to the top of the Mavericks order here. Yes, sir. Back to Jack Goins, who had a single back in, the, in his last at bat and a single to start the game. Okay, your turn, Jack. First pitch swung on, fouled out of play. We at least need one more insurance run, in my opinion, Jason. Oh, it never hurts to have insurance. <laughs> Especially with the last at-bats coming up the game. I know. That's all like, okay, well, just... Let's get one more here. Uh, I'm not asking for much. That last pitch of breaking ball caught the outside yeah. corner for called strike two. 0-2 okay. count to Goins. Now you got to choke up a little bit. Cut your swing down. Protect that plate. No. Last pitch breaking ball almost swung on it, but missed just Good a little outside the zone. Good eye. One-two pitch coming up. So I'm going to miss strike three. Yeah. But the Mavs go back on top on a couple of three hits, one run scored. Mavs leading by one by a score of five to four as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Last at-bats coming up for Stony Point here. The Mavs put the pressure on Stony Point. Here we, we go. Be right back.
All right, folks, get ready. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. We have a pitching change and a couple defensive changes. Chris Windesman has come in from center field, and we'll try to close it out here for the Mavericks in relief for Tim Calderon. Uh, Brandon Morio, starting pitcher, has re-entered the game in right field. His twin brother James has moved over to left field. And the left fielder, uh, Ramsey Simpson, has moved to center field in place of Windesman. So Windesman on relief. He will face the first hitter, the catcher. And actually, it's like we've got a cur we've got a pinch hitter here. Number 33, Marcus Leshook, has come in in the five spot. That's what I like to see. First pitch strike by Chris Windesman. Come and get him, Chris. Up. Next pitch in there called strike two. Wind has been working ahead early here in his first at bat of the relief appearance. Be the aggressor, come and get him. No two pitch swung on fly ball, right field, Morio. He's got couple it. steps over and yes. makes the grab, and that's the first out of the inning. There's one big out. Two to go. All right, one away. Brings up number six hitter, Mutcher. Mutcher one for three with a single line out and a strikeout looking. First pitch to Muncher misses a little bit outside, ball one. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play. Don't typically see Windsman in a uh, kind of closing and relief game appearance here, but uh, he's yeah. definitely dialed it up on the velocity. Pleasantly surprised to see him walk out to the mound in this bottom of the seventh. 1-1 one, one pitch. Bounces in the dirt. Ball two. And watching him in his warm-ups, I mean, he, you know, facial expression. And right now, too, I mean, most importantly right now, he is locked in. Yes. Oh. Next pitch misses just a little bit outside. Just just a bit outside, yeah. It's kind of go to Maybe three balls and one strike. Yeah. Yes. Gets the call on the outside corner there. Called strike two. Oh, never want to take your pitcher out of the rhythm there uh -uh. with a bad throwback. <laughs> no, you don't. That's all right. He'll shake it off. No, he doesn't need another ball, does he? No? He's like, I'm good. Full count. <laughs> oh, yes! Strike, strike three. Check his ring. Umpire said he went around. Strike three. And the Mavs are one out away from victory here. And it will be on the shoulders of the third baseman, J.R. Nutt, who is 0 for 3 with two line outs and a ground out. J.R. Nutt. So two down for the Mavs. First pitch misses outside, ball one. Next pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. Boy, there must be, there's probably a full box of balls worth of foul balls behind us there in that in that field patch behind us here in the bleachers. Well, I haven't sat down in <laughs> just over two innings now, so it's like so it's this type of game. 
But you're right about those foul balls. There were some kids back there. If they're still back there, man. They're just like loading up on those they're foul balls. Yeah. They're <laughs> There have been so many foul balls. Here we go. Two and one. Come on, Chris. All right. Comes in high with the heat there. Yes, Swung sir. Foul back. Strike two. Tigers down to their last strike. Ball's been standing because it's just been good mojo. <laughs> Keep standing. Superstitious, you know. Can't help it. Here we go. 2-2 two -two pitch coming up. Bounces in the dirt. Strike or... Um, <laughs> You're good. <laughs> ball. Ball three. Ball three. Not strike three. Ball three. Full count now to the hitter nut. Yeah. Two outs. Nobody on. No harm, no, no, harm, no foul. Come and get him right here. 3-2 pitch. Yes. We're going to miss strike three. Miss strike three. <laughs> Chris Winnisman comes in, goes three up, three down, closes it out for the Mavs. Mavericks Close. with the win! Woo! The Mavs <laughs> win, final score five to four here at Stony Point on senior night for Stony Point. Thanks a lot everyone for joining us and listening in tonight. Mavs improve their record to two wins now in district play. Join us again as the Mavs host Stony Point at home at McNeil Field. Wow. It's actually on Saturday, folks. Saturday, this coming Saturday, April 23rd at noon at McNeil. Thanks again for joining us, folks. Have a good evening. Thank you, guys. Go Mavs.